For many of us, we live in a world that demands so much, especially as we approach the holidays. We feel the social pressure to keep up, on top of the stress of our lives, our jobs. Perhaps it's the pressure we feel from our families to provide more, or sometimes it's just the pressure we place on ourselves to do more, buy more, give more, despite our finances and our bodies saying otherwise. We continue to overbook, overtask, with long to-do lists. Mentally and physically exhausted, we push on. In America, where it seems there is a drink, a pill, a powder for everything, some of us feel overwhelmed and turn to stimulants. Instead of therapy or yoga or self-care or meditation or prayer, we turn to stimulants like caffeine and methamphetamines, cocaine, even abusing ADHD medicine, energy drinks. All of these substances may temporarily suppress the parts of our brain that tell us we are exhausted and need to rest. But we ignore our body, we ignore our intuition. We work longer and we sleep less. Some of the effects of these stimulants make you feel energized, improved attention, suppressing your appetite. It all seems great, but it's all temporary. And so you need more and more of these stimulants, which then leads to stimulant abuse, leading to elevated heart rate, blood pressure, agitation, headaches, chronic exhaustion, persistent anxiety, and in some cases, even strokes. I can't tell you how many times I've seen patients with abnormal blood tests, simply because they are taking substances, trying to stay up longer. Remember, not everyone's liver or heart can tolerate this. The moral of the story is to listen to your body and rest when you need to. Stop overextending yourself, overpromising, or setting unrealistic expectations. We are all human. Prioritize. We make everyone and everything a priority instead of ourselves. Also, as we head into the holidays and just in general, I wanted to remind you to live in the moment. Be in the moment. It seems so simple, yet most of us don't practice this. When was the last time you really looked at your spouse or significant other or children and saw the details of their face or had a truly meaningful conversation with them? When was the last time you simply sat alone and enjoyed your own company? We live in a day when people watch TV while texting friends and trying to eat dinner all at the same time. So many missed opportunities to connect with their loved ones or connect with themselves. We're just so busy trying to pride in the fact that we know how to multitask. Are you multitasking and doing a mediocre job at several things when you could be doing a great job instead doing one thing at a time? Life is such a gift. Don't waste it doing meaningless tasks. We have but a short period on this planet, even though sometimes it does feel painfully long, but it is such a blessing. And I urge you to focus on the details and to focus on the people that matter. Live in the moment. Focus on the people in front of you or the task in front of you. Stop worrying about your plans for later tomorrow, later in the day, while you're doing something now. Enjoy the now. Give it your full attention. Even something as mundane as cooking dinner for your family. I think about the patient who came into the clinic after having a persistent cough that lasted for over a week. He had gone to a sports game with his friends 
and while eating a piece of chicken, he began talking and chairing all while eating the piece of chicken. Well, apparently a small piece of chicken ended up going down his windpipe into his lungs instead of his stomach. In other words, he aspirated and a small abscess or infection had started to form. But he was too busy to take a moment to get checked out. He had things to do. So he showed up about two weeks later and now a seemingly happy occasion had turned into a dangerous health concern and expensive hospital visit. He would eventually be all right, but in retrospect, he realized he should have slowed down and focused on his body and his health. And at that moment, he shouldn't have been eating while talking and sharing all at the same time. We've all done something similar. Perhaps it didn't cost us what it cost him. Even I am guilty of feeling stressed and in a hurry and absent-mindedly left my keys in the front door or left my keys in the produce section of the supermarket, all because I was focused on the next thing or something else instead of what was actually in front of me, what I was actually doing at that moment. So like I said before, pay attention and live in the moment. Be mindful, enjoy your families, your friends and loved ones, or else you might just miss something important. Thank you for listening to me and watching me cook. And I look forward to sharing several fall inspired cooking and decorating videos with you and of course the family. Kenton sends his love and is working hard trying to balance work with school. But I also thought I would include a short clip with him in it so that you guys could see he is doing well. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoy this content. And don't forget to check the description box for links to my social media sites and also Amazon shop. I know I've said this in the past, but it's all about finding balance and I am still working on it. But I have started to enter new entries or entries on my blog. And I've decided to include new categories like family, food, health, and a new section called Habiba Stories, which I'm really excited about. As someone who I dare say has many interests and has been blessed with many talents, it took me a while though to decide what direction my blog would take. You know, what is my intention? I decided that my intention was going to be similar to my channel, a place where you could find positive, uplifting information, sort of a resource, but also like an open diary. As you can see, my low carb quick dinner turned out really well. It was quick, easy and delicious. What are you eating today? Hi, welcome to our fall brunch. I'm just helping out in the kitchen. My wife's the maestro. Maestro? What does maestro mean? That's the leader of the orchestra, baby. <laughs> so what you got in here? We got hoisin sauce. And uh, thai, sriracha, uh, thai barbecue. Thai barbecue basting. Hmm, it's gonna be spicy, huh? That's right, just like you, honey. Kenton. What? <laughs> Is our squash giant squash? Oh, oh yes, the platen. And these are definitely ripe, ready to fry. These are the sweet kind. <laughs> Mind you, drop that. <laughs> I think I need some more potatoes. I'm going to chop these up, kind of cube them, and bake them. Kareem is here. I had to get another bag of potatoes.
And just like that, dinner is served. Now I'm actually showing you this after we ate because these were extra pans. But um, we had also fried plantain and lots of veggies. We were so full, didn't uh, get a chance to make crepe Suzettes. Uh, Marlene, my cousin was here, brought this. We also had some garlic bread, so anyway, 